Kevin from Hopefully Diagnostics. Today we're going to talk about the RP1210 capabilities of the Jaw Test V9 Link Adapter. Uh, so you may be a, a Jaw Test user, you may be a future Jaw Test user. Um, this is the the Jaw Test V9 Link. Now this V9 Link is required for uh, you to use the Jaw Test software. Um, it does not work with uh, you know a, a generic RP1210 device like a Nexic USB Link or a DLA adapter. Um, in order to Use the Jaw Test software. You have to use the Jaw Test proprietary um, link here. This is where the licensing is held, um, and this speaks all the different languages of all the different manufacturers. However, um, we can use the the Jaw Test software um, uh, to uh, launch OEM softwares and utilize the Jaw Test V9 link as the RP1210 adapter. So you may also run, um, in addition to your Jaw Test software, you may also run Cummins Insight or Navistar Engine Diagnostics or Detroit Diagnostic Link um, or any other other um, OEM program. Now, uh, what uh, what what's nice about having the RP1210 capabilities built into the Jaw Test adapter is I don't have to go and look for my Nexic USB Link 2. Um, or my um, uh, my DLA adapter if I need to go and use an OEM program for whatever reason, okay? So what we're gonna do is just show you in the software how to access this feature. Um, and in this example, we're gonna use uh, Cummins Insight. I've got a unit here, uh, one of my demo units, and it's actually got uh, Cummins Insight Pro um, on on the uh, on the tablet as well. Um, so if I were out using my Jaw Test software um, and I get to a situation where hey maybe I want to do a calibration update, um, I may want to launch the Cummins Insight software to update that ECM to the latest revision. Um, and if I have Insight Pro, I'm able to do that. So. Um, if you don't see the OEM RP1210 uh, button at the top left of your, your Jaw Test software here, you're going to have to go into additional modules. And this is where we, we select uh, which shortcuts we want to add to the top here. So in this one, I've got the VIN info and the OEM RP1210 um, shortcuts uh, selected. Uh, so those are going to show up all the time up at the top here. So um, it's, it's as simple as this. Um, if I have any other diagnostic software installed, the Jaw Test uh, software is going to identify that you can also add um, new OEM software if you like um, if, if it hasn't identified it but it should automatically jaw test when you install it automatically identify um, OEM softwares that are built in and, and simply um, I just select the one on the list that I want to launch uh, hit execute and uh, this is going to to open up that uh, that insight program so in this case I've already got insight up and running uh, but you can see here I've got uh, I've got that insight software um, loaded up on the uh, on the tablet here so um, the only thing you need to be aware of is you you've also got to set up the um, the OEM software to a uh, to um, uh, to utilize the V9 link. So, um, yeah, we can launch the program through the Jaw Test software, but then we have to actually set up the adapter in the in in the OEM software. So you can see here, I've got the Jaw Test V9 link um, Bluetooth uh, and USB option um, added in here for you know J1939 or Auto Detect whatever. Uh, you can set up set this up any way you want. But if I'm going to go and connect, I've got to select that Jaw Test V9 uh, link. Uh, to tell the Insight program that, hey, I'm not using a Nexic USB link, I'm using a, a Jaw Test um, V9 RP1210 adapter. So um, that the second half of this is you've got to go through the, those that OEM software um, and make sure that you have the Jaw Test adapter added to the list of, of devices um, for your connection. So um, that is the um, that's the RP1210. Um, uh, RP1210 functionality in the Jaw Test adapter. Um, just a nice added feature, um, not, not having to go in and search for your other adapter, not having to take multiple adapters with you if you are managing um, multiple softwares. Um, most of our clients have, have eliminated a lot of the OEM software, but we do have uh, some fleets that are, you know, uh, primarily Cummins powered. Um, as a result, they, they, they maintain that, uh, that Insight license in their fleet. Um, so there you have it. If you guys want and want to see anything else, um, if you have any questions about this um, or uh, if we can help in any way, uh, make sure you leave a comment below. Um, make sure you subscribe as well. And then uh, also feel free to reach us at our one eight six six number at any time. Take care.